Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do a review of the single column journaling Bible large print. It is the ESV translation. And it's a natural leather in brown with a flap and strap. So very nice looking Bible. Here's our ISBN number. Retail is $139.99. You can definitely find it for less online and as always there will be a link in the description box. So it comes in a nice clamshell box. Here are some of the features there, one being the 9.5 type and then two inch margins. Gives us an example of the type, some information about the ESV, and then what some folks are saying about it. So really nice packaging. You can tell it's kind of a good sized Bible. So this one here measures out at nine and a half inches tall by seven inches wide and an inch and three quarters thick. So it's a nice brown natural leather We've got a tool line that goes all the way around the perimeter, so that's really neat. You can see the highs and the lows in the color of that leather. So it's really neat the way that they did that. We've got plain white page edges. You can kind of see the signatures there. Nice head and tail bands, but really a cool looking Bible. So we've got up top here the ESV insignia. says single column journaling Bible and crossway. So this strap on there just comes around and you just flip it open. Now one thing that I have noticed and I'm sure it'll get better with time and I might try to polish this a little bit is from this leather because it's kind of the just the natural leather you're gonna get little bits of this on your Bible so just keep that in mind. But I haven't done anything to this leather, so. But even on this inside flap, you can see that tool line. So this page here appears to just be glued to that page. We've got our presentation page. Get into our title pages. This is the 2016 version of the text. It's got a nice cream colored paper. And in this particular lighting, it kind of wants to just glow down in that gutter, but it doesn't do that in other lights. So 2016 version of the text. We've got our table of contents here. The books in alphabetical order. The preface to the ESV. If you've never read the ESV and you get one, I would definitely recommend reading that. Then we get right into the Old Testament. So we're going to have a single column paragraph format in the 9.5 type. It does appear to be line matched, so really easy on the eyes. And this color on this paper, it's that cream color, in low light situations, it's actually really easy on the eyes. I enjoy reading Bibles with this type of paper when it's nighttime. So I'm going to get a little bit further in here so I can show you these margins. So we do have the two inch margins. You can see that they are the ruled with the little dots there. So, and I like that it's not super tall as far as on the spacing, because if you use, depending on what type of pen you use, you can write really small. And with the Pigma Microns, I tend to write pretty small with those. But it lays nice and flat in here. And you do get, I can, I'm brushing off some of those little bits of that leather. In fact, you can kind of see that right here on the page edges. And so if you've got one of these and that's done that to you, let me know in the comments if that's gotten better over time or if it hasn't or if you did something to maybe help with it because I haven't done anything as of yet. So we do have a pen loop. So if you wanted to stick a pen in there, that's kind of handy to be able to take it with you. We do have a ribbon marker. So we've got one brown ribbon. It is just a single satin, but it is still a nice ribbon. And it's always just nice to have one in your Bible. So I think all Bibles should have one. So nicely done on that. And then here in some of the poetic sections of the books, we can see that it's verse by verse. But a really neat Bible. And like if you had a Bible that needed to be rebound and you weren't super crafty, you might want to maybe look at doing something like this and getting just a rectangular chunk of leather and kind of doing it the way that this one is done. 
just a really unique looking Bible. It's kind of got that old school look to it. Whenever I've had this one anywhere with me, people see it and they question what it is. They're always like, oh, what is that? Is that a book? Is that a journal? And then you show them that it's a Bible and it's kind of fun to get people talking about it. So we've got a table of weights and measures. You've got a through the Bible in a year reading plan. And then we just get right to the end of it. So we've just got one thick piece of cardstock there. And again, you can kind of see the little bits from the leather. So I'm gonna have to figure out maybe what to do with that because if I read this one in bed, then it leaves little bits of that everywhere. But it's a really neat cover. I do like the way that it feels. I think it looks really neat. I like that the pages are protected all the way around the Bible. But I'm thinking that I might see if I can find a piece of leather similar to this and rebind one of the ones that I've got that the cover actually fell apart during the unboxing video. That was pretty funny. It was brand new and the cover all flaked off. And so this might be a nice, easy, handy way to do it. Rebind it like this because that's just, that's really cool. I mean, that just looks like, like it's a hundred years old. It's super, super neat. Plus the ESV is a great translation. So again, this is the ESV single column journaling Bible in the large print. There's the ISBN number. It will be linked in the description box, but a really neat Bible. And if you want a wide margin note-taking Bible, this one, you got tons of space. It's a great size. Plus it's just really cool the way that that cover is. Awesome Bible. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.